we'll also run some electrical. Over here is a 12-2, so that's going to carry 20 amp each line inside for the 240 volt. This here is 14-3, so there's going to be two 15 amp circuits running off of this. This is some telephone wire that is uh, was already run through here, but we actually used it used it a bit to pull the snake through. That worked pretty well. And this wire here is actually Ethernet wire, but this one is not going to be carrying data. This is going to be for signaling and voltage. The siren for the alarm runs on 12 volts. So that'll run on a pair. The strobe that I got, I got a strobe for the garage also. That's going to run on about 18 volts. That's another pair. And I'll add another speaker on to the uh, doorbell slash music player slash whatever you want to call it, phone ringer thing. And that'll run on another pair and there'll be a pair free for future expansion should that ever happen. The only thing I have not run through here is a regular Ethernet cable uh, for data. And uh, that's just not in the cards right at the moment. Maybe at another time, but I gotta do it sooner than later, hopefully before it gets too freezing and then I won't need the AC anyway. Done some rough measurements and we've taken the wire and taken the wire and taken the wire and taken the wire all the way to the street so I can run the air conditioner out here and obviously this is all going to be stapled up in the garage and stuff like that so there's going to be 50 amps going to the garage. And uh, that should tide me over. I think that'll do. Be checking out the workmanship here. Yep. Looks like it'll fit really well right here. Yeah, that'll go nice. Perfect. Love that kind. I don't even need that much because everything is going to go, yeah, a little, that should be good. Right there is good. We'll leave that. That'll be fine. We're uh, just adjusting the ether webs. We pulled a little too much, but that's all right. We'll pull it back into the basement and then that's going to run to the alarm panel and uh, we'll go from there. He's going to run up the generator here, so we got the fuel on, switch on, everything, and uh, time to give her a few pulls and uh, get some fuel in the carbonator. The fuel in here is old and stale and it smells as such, so we're going to let it run for a while. And uh, should be good, you can just give it a whirl anytime. As you can see, and it hasn't taken very long at all. Wire comes up there, around here, down, over, down. The white wire is going to stop at the bench, right over there somewhere. So we're going to cut it. The yellow wire continues, and we'll have to drop along here where Lex is finishing this. It's going to run down this stud to the outlets, and that's uh, really the run. Okay, little uh, not thinking everything through as usual. This is just sitting here for show. It's just kind of hanging right there as you see. That's where the AC outlet is going to go. There's going to be four outlets in this box here, each on a 15 amp. We're going to run out from over here along the wall over to the corner there next to the bench. We're also going to run some 14.2 from well, actually, I'm sorry. Power's coming down there. It's going to run and go in to here, over here. One branch on one outlet, the other branch on there. That's going to come off on a 14-2, head through that, back up, just three staples to remove. And along the beam, over here, across the way, 
to the outlet, which is here, so this guy can have his own branch also. Rough and complete over here. We'll run this wire another time. That's not really a big deal. The white wire coming through, this is 14.2. That goes up and around and over, and it's hanging here, right over here, to get hooked into there. For when the Italian gets here, because we still have to hook the breakers in, in the panel. Oh, what about, look, you all look like you've been fucked, and then here <laughs> I come. Oh, you done yet? Are you done yet? And you're sweating your ass off. You look like you're about to collapse. Yeah, it's a... Uh, um, Blueberry pie? Borscht. No. Uh, sangria. Oh, uh, beg your pardon. I just made it now. I'll go to Fiora. The drill hole, but you know. Yeah, he <laughs> thought it. Uh, he thought of doing I'm that. I'm the only one that has the drill, though. But then he got to come back to me. Right, it's all get the drill. Out. Now you got stuff on the floor, so now you got to take everything out and back in the floor. Right. It's a garage, so uh, it's fine, yeah. Right, good, good. Okay, so what do you think of the workmanship here? I don't remember where the hole was. It's there, we there had to widen it, is, it. But I don't, like, it's been, a, it's been a while. Yeah. But that's, that's pretty much it. Homeowner special. <laughs> that's all it has to be. Looks fine to me. All right, good. So yeah, there's going to be an outlet we'll put over there, but I already said that on the video kind. And that's it. So does it have the Shatai and seal of approval? It's your house. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> it's, it's the J. J way. Right. J day. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Yo. Anyway, uh, we're pretty much done for today. Uh, everything is just back as a mess because we have to clean everything out and pull it out and put it back in so we get in the corner there. Uh, shit like that. So everything is coming together. That's going to wrap up this day three? Yeah. Three. Anyway, uh, either tomorrow or the next day we'll have this running. Uh, whether or not that happens in the course of the videos, how they're released, I don't know. We'll find out. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.